Banknotes are objects that pass through our hands every day, but they're so much more than just pieces of paper or plastic. In many ways, they're a country's business card, telling you all about the nation's culture and history, neatly summarised in a colourful and accessible format. Take the Malaysian ringgit as an example, self-described as distinctively Malaysian. Now I'll be honest, Malaysia is a country I know embarrassingly little about. I've passed through its airport a couple of times, and even glimpsed the iconic Petronas Towers longingly from the plane window, but that's the extent of my relationship with the country. Well what better guidebook than their banknotes, and the Petronas Towers are literally on one of them. So let's take a closer look at their culture, traditions, history and natural wonders, as well as the single largest banknote in the world. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Let's start with just the standard notes. There are six denominations ranging from the one ringgit, worth about 18 pence or 24 US cents, right the way up to the 100 ringgit, therefore worth about 18 pounds or 24 dollars. Each note is its own vivid colour, but other than that, the fronts are fairly similar. They feature the portrait of Abdul Rahman, the country's first supreme head of state or king, alongside Malaysia's national flower, the hibiscus. In the background of each can be seen a different pattern songket, a traditional Malay fabric, and there are some really intricate and beautiful designs here. Towards the top left of each note can be seen a see-through register security feature. What this means is half an image is printed on the front of the note, and the remaining sections on the back, so when held up to the light, the image completes. It's hard for counterfeiters to perfectly align their printing, so if the images do line up, it means the note is likely genuine. It takes the form of the denomination for each note, with the exception of the 50 ringgit, which instead features another songket pattern. Another cool security feature can be found inside the main numbers on each note, microprint. It's almost impossible to see with the naked eye, but each number is made up of hundreds of smaller numbers. Again, this is exceptionally difficult for counterfeiters to reproduce. All notes also feature a braille-like raised line to help the visually impaired distinguish between them, once again with the exception of the 50, which features two raised diamonds instead. Other than that, the main difference between the notes is that the 1 and 5 are polymer, whilst the others are paper. I'm not quite sure why this is, but would speculate it's due to polymer's durability and lifespan, particularly for lower value notes that are likely to be subject to more wear and tear. It's not too uncommon to find this on currencies. For instance, both Mexico and Singapore also use polymer for their lower notes, and paper for the higher ones. With this, the two polymer notes each feature two transparent windows, whilst the four paper see a watermark of Abdul Rahman in its place. The 10 and 20 feature this shiny security fibre, whilst it takes the form of a holographic strip on the 50, and this really cool 3D strip on the 100. The 50 also includes a tilt effect feature. The last thing I want to point out on the front is something really weird and mysterious I noticed on the 50. At the very top and bottom of this box on the left can be seen the word void. I have literally no idea why this is, and it seems very odd and contradictory to include the word void on a circulating banknote, unless it was a test or demo note or something of the sort, which I'm fairly certain it's not. If you know or have a theory as to why, it's been really bothering me so please let me know down below. Anyway, let's now take a look at the back of the notes, where they really start to become unique. The one ringgit features a wow bulan, or moon kite, one of the country's national symbols. Kite flying is a traditional sport in Malaysia, often a celebration of a good harvest, and kites can be seen again on one of the coins and in the logo of Malaysia Airlines. The five ringgit features a rhinoceros hornbill, a magnificent bird depicted in a beautifully illustrated rainforest scene. It's the previous five ringgit design that featured the Petronas Towers. The ten sees a rafflesia, the world's largest flower that can grow up to a metre in diameter whilst the 20 celebrates the country's oceans, with both a hawksbill and leatherback turtle, described by the country as ambassadors of the rich and colourful marine life found in their tropical waters. Interestingly, the 20 ringgit wasn't included in the previous series of notes, and so was brought back specifically for this series, much to everyone's delight. The 50 was released to mark the country's 50th anniversary, and depicts the first Prime Minister during the Declaration of Independence in 1957. The note represents Malaysia's transforming economy, and also features an oil palm tree, which nowadays might seem a controversial choice, and a molecular structure representing microbiology. And finally, the 100 ringgit features Mount Kinabalu, the tallest mountain in Southeast Asia, beside the rock formations of Gunung Api Valley, both UNESCO World Heritage Sites. All designs feature this peculiar symbol, which it took me far too long to realise is the central bank's logo, as well as Jawi script, a traditional alphabet used for the Malay language, which is otherwise falling increasingly out of use. 
There's microprint text around the borders of each picture, and the notes glow rather spectacularly under UV light. The 1, 5, 10 and 20 all see the main image from the note. A wild bulan, a rhinoceros hornbill, a rafflesia, and a turtle, alongside the denomination and central bank's logo. The 50 and 100 are a little different however, seeing a glowing 50 again with the molecular structure and a mountain illuminated. The four paper denominations all feature these random flecks of colour, security fibres intentionally added to the paper at the pulp stage. And that's just about it for these notes, but that's not where the story ends. Remember I mentioned the largest banknote in the world? Well in 2017, for the country's 60th anniversary, Malaysia released two somewhat unusual designs. First there's a 60 ringgit, an unusual denomination which now sells online for about 15 times its face value, so unfortunately I don't have a real one to show you. Though the denomination may seem bizarre, countries do occasionally release weird and wonderful banknotes to commemorate important events, such as the 7 Fiji dollar note to celebrate the country winning gold in Rugby 7s at the Olympics, or the newly released 75,000 Indonesian rupiah note, again to mark the country's 75th anniversary. But where it gets really bizarre is this, the 600 ringgit note and the single largest legal tender banknote in the world, measuring an enormous 37 by 22 centimetres. Here's a photo to put that in perspective. Now these sell for about three or four thousand pounds, or about four or five thousand US dollars, and I tried my absolute best to get hold of a real one for this video. I thought maybe I could buy one and then sell it again afterwards to recoup what I'd spent, but I couldn't find one for sale anywhere in the world. It seems the only people who own them are hardcore banknote collectors, unwilling to part with their most prized possession, and so we'll just have to look at this picture of one instead. Nonetheless, isn't it glorious? Imagine the size your wallet would need to be to accommodate one. As far as I can tell, it's more or less identical to the 60, apart from the denomination and size obviously. The notes see the royal throne encircled by the 15 supreme heads, including Abdul Rahman from the standard notes, whilst the reverses portray the signing of the independence agreement. I really wish I had a real one to show all the cool features, its microprint or what it looks like under UV light, and if I do manage to get hold of one, I'll definitely make a follow up video in the future. But for now, there we are, Malaysia's colourful, fascinating and beautiful banknotes that so wonderfully inform us all about this marvellous country. A massive thank you to everyone who very kindly sent in banknotes for this video, including Eugene, Jordan, Ezra and Mohammed from Malaysia, Jason from North Carolina, and Sitchin from Singapore. Thank you so much.